Marines spent their Saturday scraping and scrubbing spray paint off their vehicles. News Source 16's Megan Higgins is here with our crime tracker tonight. Well, Matt, sometime overnight Friday, vandals hit several cars using spray paint to number the vehicles. The incident is frustrating, but by speaking out, neighbors hope someone will come forward and help hold those responsible accountable. Glance down a stretch of Grove Street in the Santa Clara area, and you can't miss it. Cars and trucks late Friday night, all of them numbered, tagged, and splattered with spray paint. My niece's uh, rim got painted blue, and then they spray painted her car pretty bad. Sam Snyder's car was also hit. Vandals coated his driver's side window with silver paint and then moved to the hood. And then I kind of scraped it off here, but it still needs to be scraped better. Neighbors a few blocks away on Sterling Drive woke up to a similar mess on Saturday. I saw a large number 14 on the door of my car and almost cried. It took a few minutes for Carrie Scheideck to realize what had happened to her minivan. I didn't believe that it you know was really there at first. I had three different kinds three different colors of spray paint silver black and blue and not once or twice but five different spots on her van were marked and she wasn't alone. Mainly on my side of the street, um, a couple on the opposite side, um, some uh, motorhomes on our street got it too. She says neighbors pulled together to remove the unsightly paint. And it's a special citrus spray and they went out to CarQuest in Junction City, which was the only place they could locate it. And she came back with a dozen cans of it. Fortunately, Shyduck's unlucky numbers came right off, but that wasn't the case for others. So I know one family had to have it sandblasted off. A weakened crime spree that's definitely left a mark that's hard to miss, hard to remove, and even harder to understand. Now, the homes in that area are patrolled by both the county and Eugene police. A community officer from EPD was sent out over the weekend, and police say they have about 19 reported cases. The sheriff's office says they also received several complaints. However, due to budget constraints, they weren't able to send anyone out. Now, the Grove Street residents were sent citizen report forms to fill out. I'm told once they're returned, a sergeant will review them. In the newsroom, I'm Megan Higgins.